Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about gaseous tidal hypothesis. Okay, there are three words in this uh, heading. Gaseous means it is made up of gas. Tidal means tide that comes in seas and oceans. And hypothesis you all know, it is a well known, a well accepted imagination. So all these three words are clear. Now let's move ahead. Gaseous tidal hypothesis was proposed by Jeans and Jeffries in 1925. So these two scientists proposed uh, this hypothesis. And yeah, one more uh, thing to keep in mind here. The gaseous tidal hypothesis and uh, biparental origin of Earth. These both are literally same. Therefore, I am explaining one of them. You can... Uh, do another one yourself because uh, there is nothing different in uh, these two hypotheses okay therefore I, I am explaining one of them another you can read from your books and all okay and uh, they actually the reason to explain one is that they both are uh, exactly the same there is uh, there might be any minor uh, minor difference but um, according to me there is uh, no very large large difference between both of them therefore i am explaining this one gaseous tidal hypothesis in detail okay the key points of this hypothesis are a very large first point is a very large star approached close to sun due to gravitational pull of star a gaseous tide was raised on the sun as star came nearer size of tide increased what happened uh, let us consider means this is a sun and a star is approaching from here and it is going downwards this is sun and a star is coming from here and it is going downwards so sun has its forces and the all all those forces uh, together are called disruptive forces and a star has its gravitational pull so both these uh, these forces interfere with each other and due to their interference what happens a tide is uh, a tide a tide is raised on sun as we see tides in oceans and seas similarly a tide was raised on the sun as star came nearer the size of tide increased as star came closer to the sun the size of tide tide increased similarly in the way as the moon comes closer the size of tide increases on earth same like that in second point what happens when the star began to move away the gaseous tide was detached from the sun uh, I thought I told you that let us consider a sun here and a star is moving downward when a star started moving moving away from the sun the tide uh, the tide was detached from sun tide uh, from uh, this this is the sun if we say the tide uh, was uh, uh, the tide detached from sun and its shape was like a spindle being thick at the middle this is a spindle shape that I have made okay and the shape of tide was like this it is thick at the center and thin at the ends okay the third point speaks the spindle shaped gaseous mass broke into 10 pieces this spindle shaped gaseous mass was very big and it broke into 10 pieces nine of which found planets and one broke down into uh, and, one, and one broke down and found planet planetoids okay so nine pieces formed planets and one that was that broke down found planetoids so this is the uh, gaseous tidal hypothesis given by genes and zephyries now let us talk about the defects of this hypothesis uh, defects of uh, most of the hypothesis are uh, are approximately same you can see passing star is unable to impart angular momentum to the to the detached mass Passing a star uh, was unable to give uh, that much uh, speed of rotation to the planets uh, that much it would have given. Means uh, a passing star should have given more uh, speed of rotation that is called angular momentum. And the second point speaks detached mass. And the second point says detached mass were so hot that they should have dispersed in space rather than condensing uh, this is also the same i have explained this before see the mass that uh, was detached from the sun would have been very hot should have been very hot so 
uh, and hot gases uh, should have dispersed in space rather than condensing. This is the second effect of this hypothesis. So these are your notes. Take screenshots.